There, that's it. I, I think. I'm at a loss for words. I owe you my life, and I don't even know your name. A suitable appellation would be Ken. Ken? As in Ken? Like Ken. 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 Well, thank you, Ken. No, no, wait a minute. The, the authorities are out there. I shall use my proficiencies to evade them. Oh, but you're just an ambulatory computer masquerading as a man. You lack je ne sais quoi. Well, that deficiency could jeopardize my mission. Is there a solution? Let me go with you. Assist with whatever you have to do in Arizona. Do you feel requisite loyalty? I would be lying if I said otherwise. And what about your kids? Now that was a lie. I have no children. That was said to create sympathy for when I felt in peril. Dealing with humans is most perplexing. Where do you visit Chicago? Jonathan Driscoll is a former researcher in the field of artificial intelligence. When his thinking became too radical, he lost funding. Driscoll's misanthropic, for his machines to people, divorced, no close family or friends, no prior criminal record. There's nothing particularly noteworthy about this man. He holds 16 patents. What do they pertain to? High-tech robotics. But according to this, his ideas lack merit. Driscoll will never be a Nobel laureate. Hmm? As if you will. You appear to be thinking. I'm evaluating a quotation in my memory. Mankind owes to the child the best it has to give. Do you understand the relevance? It's coming back to me. Two divergent life forms combining for greater efficiency. Yes, like us. Here's the composite you asked for based on John Doe's description. Why is this face so familiar? I've seen it before somewhere. May I ask, what are we doing right now? Waiting for Driscoll to resurface? I suspect his meeting with John Doe wasn't entirely accidental. Don't you? Galloway, you're not exactly keeping me in a loop. Now, what do I report to our superiors? Aside from Einstein and Zeus, I have no superiors. You, on the other hand. <laughs> Harvard arrogance. I hate that school. Two tickets to Phoenix. Any luggage? No, no, no. Our, our last airline lost it all. And the veal. You know, I know what they say about microwave and he's We'll do our best to make amends. I hope you enjoy this flight more than your last. My last flight was spent in a state of suspended animation. Check in. Again, you recited falsehoods in your conversation. Well, lies are more believable than the truth right now. You are an excellent liar. No, 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 that, that's not a compliment. Come on, I'll, I'll explain it to you. experiencing unease. <laughs> Always been a little nervous about flying. We shall arrive at our destination safely. Newspapers report three commercial airline disasters in the next 13 months. 
This flight is not amongst them. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Hey, you know everything that's about to happen? Not everything. My information is limited to published material. Well, the magazine collection could use a little updating. <laughs> Look at this. They got Eisenhower undercover. Driscoll, just used his credit card. Purchased two tickets for Arizona, Regency Airlines Flight 247. Two tickets? Yes. Due to arrive in 90 minutes. If asked their IDs to airport security the moment they land, have Driscoll and his companion detained. Here, I've got to beat that plane. Might I inquire what you are thinking? I'm saddened by the knowledge that mankind destroys itself in the future. The learning capacity for machines improves every day. But not for humans. You're mistaken. Mankind's downfall is caused by an unforeseen phenomenon, not by his inherent aggressiveness. Entering the 23rd century, humanity unites. Governments combine to solve the problems of indigency and ecology. Diverting funds from deep space exploration leaves man vulnerable. To what? In the year 2603, a comet appears from an uncharted solar system. It is detected too late for defensive measures, and it sears Earth's ozone layer, plunging the planet into environmental catastrophe. So man finally gets its act together only to be unceremoniously wiped out? Correct. Amending events in this era without corrupting history overall will prevent that. Phoenix, Arizona is next on my core agenda. Latin for a list of corrections. So, what happens if you succeed? Humanity will be saved. No, 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 I, I mean, to you. Can you return to the future? No. I was sent for a singular purpose. After achieving it, my existence will no longer be necessary. Well, how do you feel about that? I am an artificial being. I do not feel. Well, I do. And I don't consider my friends to be dispensable. You regard me as a friend? She's giving us a lot of attention. I shall ascertain her conversation. She's confirming our presence on board to law enforcement. They plan to apprehend us the moment we disembark. 